Let's move into a demonstration and we can see this actually happening. So what I'd like to do is examine my original network demonstration and see that we can access my inside web server from both my inside PC and from out on the internet. Second, I want to create the DMZ interface, assign the security level to it, and then move my inside web server to the DMZ. We'll change the IP address of our web server, and then we're going to observe its operation. By the end of this, I'd like to accomplish exactly what you just saw in the previous slides. Let's dive into it. Well, let's start off by making sure that I can access my inside web server from my workstation here. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome and browse to 10.0.0.80. And there's my inside web server. It is up and running. Now, what I'd like to do is close this window. And we're going to set up our DMZ interface. So I'm going to open up my firewall console here. And we're going to add an interface. So G02 is where I'm going to connect the inside web server. Edit that. We'll give it a name, we'll call it the DMZ interface, and it has a security level of 50, just like I've shown in my drawing. We're going to enable that interface, and we're going to give it a static IP address, 192.168.42.1. The mask is a 24-bit mask, and we hit OK. We'll apply that. Now I've created that interface. Next step is going to be for me to change the IP address and move the cable for my inside web server. So let me modify that. So now I have moved my inside web server so that it is now connected to G02, which is my DMZ interface. Let's take a look at what we can do with that now. Let's open up Google Chrome. And I'm going to go into an incognito window here. And we'll go to 10.0.0.80. And of course, the website does not work because it's no longer at that address. If I do 192.168.10.42, excuse me, 42.80, there's my inside web server now. Now, my inside web server is not going to be accessible from the internet yet because one of the things I did not do was modify my NAT object. So, to test this from the outside and make sure it continues to work, I will need to go back into my firewall settings, open up my inside web server, and change the IP address from 10.0.0.80 to 192.168.42.80. Now, when somebody from the outside tries to access my inside web server, it'll be coming in through the DMZ. Let's take a look at that. So now I'm on my internet PC. We'll open up Google Chrome. And we'll get an incognito window going. And we'll put in 203.113, excuse me, 203.0.113.80. And that should reach our inside web server now. Same address on the outside, but now I've modified my inside web server so that it's on the DMZ network. Let's look at one more thing. The last thing we should look at here is our inside web server. So my inside web server, we're going to open up Firefox window. And in Firefox, on my inside web server, I'm going to try to browse to 10.0.0.99. <laughs> well, that worked very well, didn't it? And the reason that worked very well is that uh, my history is full of stuff, including this untitled diagram. Let's clear our history. Clear it now. We'll close that and try that again. It's always problematic when you're trying to troubleshoot issues. Having web cache. So, we'll try that one more time, 10.0.0.99. And what's going to happen is I'm not going to be able to get to that website. And the reason I can't is because now I have moved my web server into the DMZ, and I cannot move from a low security level interface 
to a high security level interface, traffic's automatically blocked. I would have to explicitly allow this traffic. So now my inside web server is in the DMZ. I can access it from my inside PC. I can access it from the web. The inside web server cannot access my inside networks. This is exactly what we were after.